Freudu Marxism is a loose designation for philosophies that have been informed by or have attempted to synthesize the works of Karl Marx and the psychoanalytic theory of Sigmund Freud. Early Freudu Marxism The beginnings of Freudu Marxist theorizing took place in the 1920s in Germany and the Soviet Union. The Soviet philosopher V. Urines and the Freudian analyst Siegfried Bernfeld both discussed the topic. The Soviet linguist Valentin Voloshinov, a member of the Bakhtin Circle, began a Marxist critique of psychoanalysis in his 1925 article, Beyond the Social which he developed more substantially in his 1927 book Freudianism, a Marxist critique. In 1929, Wilhelm Reich's Dialectical Materialism and Psychoanalysis was published in German and Russian in the bilingual communist theory journal Unter dem Banner des Marxismus. At the end of this line of thought can be considered Otto Fenichel's 1934 article Psychoanalysis as the nucleus of a future dialectical materialistic psychology which appeared in Wilhelm Reich's Zeitschrift für politische Psychologie und Sexualökonomie Journal for Political Psychology and Sex Economy. One member of the Berlin group of Marxist psychoanalysts around Wilhelm Reich was Erich Frum, who later brought Freudu Marxist ideas into the exiled Frankfurt School led by Max Horkheimer and Theodor W. Adorno. <laughs> <laughs> Wilhelm Reich Wilhelm Reich was an Austrian psychoanalyst, a member of the second generation of psychoanalysts after Sigmund Freud, and one of the most radical figures in the history of psychiatry. He was the author of several influential books and essays, most notably Character Analysis 1933, The Mass Psychology of Fascism 1933, and The Sexual Revolution 1936. His work on character contributed to the development of Anna Freud's The Ego and the Mechanisms of Defense 1936, and his idea of muscular armor—the expression of the personality in the way the body moves shaped innovations such as body psychotherapy, Fritz Perls's Gestalt therapy, Alexander Lowen's bioenergetic analysis, and Arthur Yanov's primal therapy. His writing influenced generations of intellectuals. During the 1968 student uprisings in Paris and Berlin, students scrawled his name on walls and threw copies of the mass psychology of fascism at the police. Topic: The Frankfurt School The Frankfurt School, from the Institute for Social Research, took up the task of choosing what parts of Marx's thought might serve to clarify social conditions which Marx himself had never seen. They drew on other schools of thought to fill in Marx's perceived omissions. Max Weber exerted a major influence, as did Sigmund Freud. In the Institute's extensive Studien über Autorität und Familie ed. Max Horkheimer, Paris 1936, Eric Frum authored the social psychological part. Another new member of the Institute was Herbert Marcuse, who would become famous during the 1950s in the U.S. <laughs> Marcuse's Eros and Civilization 1955. Eros and Civilization is one of Marcuse's best-known early works. Written in 1955, it is an attempted dialectical synthesis of Marx and Freud whose title alludes to Freud's civilization and its discontents. Marcuse's vision of a non-repressive society which runs rather counter to Freud's conception of society as naturally and necessarily repressive, based on Marx and Freud, anticipated the values of 1960s counter-cultural social movements. In the book, Marcuse writes about the social meaning of biology, history seen not as a class struggle, but fight against repression of our instincts. He argues that capitalism if never named as such, is preventing us from reaching the non-repressive society based on a fundamentally different experience of being, a fundamentally different relation between man and nature, and fundamentally different existential relations." <laughs> From and the Sane Society Eric Fromm, once a member of the Frankfurt School, left the group at the end of the 1930s. The culmination of Fromm's social and political philosophy was his book The Sane Society, published in 1955, which argued in favor of humanist, democratic socialism. Building primarily upon the works of Karl Marx, Fromm sought to re-emphasize the ideal of personal freedom, missing from most Soviet Marxism, and more frequently found in the writings of classic liberals. 
Fromm's brand of socialism rejected both Western capitalism and Soviet communism, which he saw as dehumanizing and bureaucratic social structures that resulted in a virtually universal modern phenomenon of alienation. <laughs> Lacan and Marxism Jacques Lacan was a philosophically sophisticated French psychoanalyst, whose perspective came to predominate in French psychiatry and psychology. Lacan saw himself as loyal to and rescuing Freud's legacy. Lacan's influence has created a new cross-fertilization of Freudian and Marxist ideas. <laughs> Althusser Louis Althusser is widely known as a theorist of ideology, and his best-known essay is Ideology and Ideological State Apparatuses, Notes Toward an Investigation. The essay establishes the concept of ideology, also based on Gramsci's theory of hegemony. Whereas hegemony is ultimately determined entirely by political forces, ideology draws on Freud's and Lacan's concepts of the unconscious and mirror phase respectively, and describes the structures and systems that allow us to meaningfully have a concept of the self. These structures, for Althusser, are both agents of repression and inevitable, it is impossible to escape ideology, to not be subjected to it. The distinction between ideology and science or philosophy is not assured once for all by the epistemological break a term borrowed from Gaston Bachelard, this break is not a chronologically determined event, but a process. Instead of an assured victory, there is a continuous struggle against ideology. Ideology has no history. His essay Contradiction and Overdetermination borrows the concept of overdetermination from psychoanalysis, in order to replace the idea of contradiction with a more complex model of multiple causality in political situations an idea closely related to Gramsci's concept of hegemony topic <inaudible> Zizek the Slovenian philosopher Slavoj Zizek has developed since the late 1980s a line of thought which uses Lacanian psychoanalysis Hegelian philosophy and Marxism Althusser is also among his references his The Sublime Object of Ideology deals with the original Freudu Marxist perspective. Topic. Commodity and sexual fetishism Marx's theory of commodity fetishism has proven fertile material for work by other theorists since Marx, who have added to, adapted, or, as Marxist orthodoxy might see it, vulgarized the original concept. Freud's well-known but unrelated theory of sexual fetishism led to new interpretations of commodity fetishism, as types of sexually charged relationships between a person and a manufactured object. See also Authoritarian personality Crowd psychology Repressive desublimation Related thinkers Cornelius Castoriadis, Giles Deleuze, Felix Guattari, Lacanian Movement, Ernst Simmel References Further reading Wilhelm Reich, Dialectical Materialism and Psychoanalysis, in Lee Baxendall ed., Sex Poll, Essays, 1929–1934 New York, 1972. Otto Fenichel, Psychoanalysis as the Nucleus of a Future Dialectical Materialistic Psychology. In, American Amago, 1967 Winter, 24 290–311 Palmier, J. M. Wilhelm Reich, Essay sur la naissance du Freud du Marxism, Paris. External links Otto Fenichel, Die Psychoanalyse als Keim einer Zukunftigen Dialektisch Materialistischen Psychologie, German original. David Pavone Cuellar, Marxism Lacanian, French original. Roger Kimball, The Marriage of Marx and Freud.